guys, welcome back to the video. It's your girl Chrissy Buff, and today we have another figure for figure review. That was a lot of spins. <laughs> Hey guys, so we have Ram and Ram today. This is from ReZero, as you can see here. I'm actually moving my camera up a little bit. This is an amazing figure. Actually, I'm on my camera back for you. This figure is something I've been waiting for for a long time. As you can see, the official sticker is here on the bottom. And look, I finally have a spinny base. A dish that can finally actually showcase the figure a lot faster and better for your guys entertainment so yeah this is rem and rem twins version the one that was from uh you can't see on my fingers but the brand is i'm gonna probably butcher this soyuki it's kind of right here i don't know if you guys can see that but it says soyuki i think they're a new company because i have not have a figure by them and I don't have any orders, I don't think, by them. At least right now. But the box is super cute. There's ruffles all around. It's a nice, clear, transparent box. You can see literally every angle besides the left and right sides panels. It is super cute. I love Rem and Rem's face in this. It's adorable. I can't wait to get them out of the box. They're super cute, and I love the pose. This is probably my favorite Rem and Rem figure when they're actually together. Because I don't think there's any other um, figures. There's not too many figures of them actually on one base and one scale together. So I'm really happy with this. I can't wait to get them out the box. So let's do that. But first, let's go over the panels. So again, we have the official sticker down here. And then we're going to go into the sides. So we have the illustration here. Again, I love... Oh, okay, i never seen this show. First of all, I need to probably state, state that. I know, crazy, have a much ReZero. I need to watch it. Season 2 is coming out really soon. Sometime, I believe, in April. I don't know the day, but I know in April. And I need to watch it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys uh, want me to do a reaction of the anime. Because I had never seen it. And I need to watch it because I really want to see Season 2. So, yeah. Um, that's gonna be it for the box. Again, nothing too crazy. That's not important. Right now, we need to get her, or them, out the box. So, we'll be right back. Alright guys, and we're back. I'm holding the camera for this one because I want to try something different in editing and basically get closer shots and better things with this. So, we're gonna go into Ram and Ram. We had her at the box. They're looking fantastic. I am absolutely loving it. I did take them off the, the little spinny disc so, so I can get a bit closer. You guys won't see how dirty that base is. But here is the actual base for the figures. Nothing too crazy. It's uh, not too big, which I'm happy about. I'm um, just playing back and it says the from the anime, real life, different world from zero. And then some purple stars and white stars. And it's practically it really. It's nothing too crazy, but it's really nice. It has a little like shaping around the corners, around the edges, all around. But I mean, besides that, it's, that's pretty much it with it. Going up, so they do have metal bases. I don't know if you can see. You kind of can. Metal rod sticking up there. But they both have one. Be very careful with it because these two are not attached together. And what I mean is these figures are not attached. I really thought they were. And I'll show you later on um, what I mean about that, how to put her on the base. I put Ram in first, and then I put Rem in pretty simple wasn't too hard it's just you gotta be careful because they're not stuck together which i thought they were gonna be the only thing holding them together is really just their uh hands so if you're too careless or something they could really just fall off and so they could break in between because this is literally all that's holding it together that is it so please be careful um besides that 
going to do with their shoes the shoes are really nice it's a like a uh, classic like black kind of made school style shoes with a buckle across really nice there is some highlighting going on as you can see in the light there's like some brown around the peel and then towards the front of the the front of the shoes really really nice detail moving up we're gonna see some legs we're gonna see some nice thighs going on um they're in their thigh high socks this is also really detailed i'm gonna get up their skirt a little bit here youtube friendly um this is all for research <laughs> so they have some garnets going on a little highlighting of blue as you guys can clearly see there really nice detail this company i believe they're new and they're to me so far have been a great job i am not seeing any paint transfers i'm seeing everything really nicely detailed even some details with them the stockings right here kind of hard to see but it's actually ruffled and tucked in as if they're you know going with the movement that they have so that's really nice detailing there you also can kind of see it here and it goes all the way there it's really really nice i like that a lot so then going up we're going to their dresses now so both of them are amazingly detailed in their dresses the main reason why i say this is because there's actually movement with how they're posing and i believe in the anime they actually make this pose it's super super cute i'm really liking the movement and the flowing how they did it and i'm kind of am glad now that i'm thinking about it they're not stuck together because that would kind of lead to some paint problems in the future because i thought they're going to be held together here but the only thing of course is the hand like i said so everything is really good i'm not seeing anything Again, there's some highlighting going on because their dresses are in black. And there's some highlighting here and here going across. There's some nice movement going on here. Oh, let me focus better for you guys to see that. It's kind of hard to tell here, but let me move them a little bit. There's nice wrinkles going on. A little highlighting of blue to kind of show that depth of field there. Really nice. And then, of course, the cute little bows on the back. I never noticed that they actually were... were they had bows there that is super cute and then little i don't i don't know what you call it. it's part of their dress cape i don't know but this this here really nice this is really really nice i like it be careful though it is kind of bendy you can kind of see do not drop it because that might break you don't want that to happen then going up to their waist i may have to turn it around for this probably should have kept them on that base just for another reason the best part well we got the best part but one of the best parts going over their chest they um clearly could tell they kind of got the size right ram is way bigger than ram which i believe that is accurate in the show so <laughs> they kind of got every part as realistic as possible i really like the cuffs the blouses every not blouses but they're yeah you can call those cuffs everything there is really nice their headdresses the hair color is really nice it is a bit transparent though, as you could clearly tell from Ram, I mean, Ram and Ram, sorry, that Ram is more of a solid blue color, but you can kind of tell you that Ram, I'm sorry, I'm getting mixed up. Ram has more of the nice solid blue color. Uh, there's no paint chips, no nothing, but you can clearly see here, far away, they just kind of glued on a random piece here. I'm sorry, I'm touching all over their faces. But there, it's clearly obvious. It's kind of not really good. I don't know why they did that because Ram doesn't have anything like that. At least maybe it's well hidden. Maybe they do, kind of right there. But it's clearly obvious but from transparent to non-transparent. So that kind of sucks. But I mean, you're not going to be facing that much. So you won't, most likely won't be able to see it. Again, the headdress is looking good. Everything. Kind of go back here. The front face, the front face, their faces are super, super cute. I'm loving Ram's face. I'm sorry, Ram. I'm, my favorite in the show is Beatrice, but again, I've never seen the anime, so I kind of go by her looks and personality that I've seen like clips of. And I love Beatrice. She's the best girl, in my opinion, but I know a lot of you guys love Ram. And Ram is awesome. From what I've seen, I know she, she basically saved Super's life like countless, countless times. So I need to watch it so I can see why everyone loves her as best wife. I know there's the countless reasons that I've seen bits and pieces of, but I really need to watch the show. So tell me if you guys want me to do a reaction to the anime reaction, because I kind of want to watch it, because I really want to see season two. Alright, so again, getting distracted, going back into it. Her face looks really good. We're going to start off with Rem. I mean, Ram. Oh my god, so sorry. You guys are probably furious right now. I know I, I'm really bad with names. I get tongue twisted a lot. 
but I love her expression. I think it, their faces are almost practically the same, like a cute, shy, blush face. I don't know any other way to describe it, but it's really, really, really cute. I'm loving Ram, 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 sorry. I'm loving both of their faces. They're super, super cute. And again, you can kind of see here. Let me focus a little bit. Rem, got that right this time. Rem has a little bit of transparency on her ends. It's kind of hard to tell, at least in the lighting. If I turn it a bit, that we could see it better. It's kind of transparent on her bangs. I don't know why they decided to kind of make that solid, then transparent, like I showed you in the back of her head. But her bangs are transparent. At least to me, it looks like it. It looks kind of off because it kind of goes to an ombre look. It goes to like a light and then it goes to a dark, which was behind. So if that's kind of weird. The hand, it's not really that detailed and my camera may not be able to pick this up. So I apologize, you can kind of see it there. It looks a little weird up close, I'm not gonna lie. Right here, my big fat finger's in the way, but there's like a little bit of a gap between the finger. So basically picture my finger with this bone not being there and it's just a gap. That's what it kind of looks like. It's really weird how they did that. You can kind of see what I'm talking about if I move my camera back and try to focus it better. Right there, you can, I might point it on camera, but it's literally a weird little gap there and I don't know why that is like that, but it is. You can see it way better like that. But you see that? Like a weird gap. It's like that's her fingers intertwined with each other, but in real life that kind of looks like she's missing a joint to that other finger. So there's a little bit of mistake there. That could be my figure. I don't know if that's everyone's scale. Hopefully it's not. But besides those two problems, like I said, with the chips, not chips, but the um, hair piece here and maybe the fingers acting really weird there. Besides that, that's probably the only problem I'm really seeing with these two. I'm going to put her actually back on my spinning disc. And we're going to do a quick spin on again. I would rate this figure a 8 out of 10. Um, the price wasn't too bad. I really like the poses. This is, again, like my favorite pose of them two together. I forgot to mention earlier, this is a 1 7 scale. So their size is not too bad. It's pretty nice. I'm happy with the size. I'm happy with the base. The coloring, the pose is really, really cute. I am pretty satisfied. I mean, again, I'm not going to see that problem with the hair because it's clearly behind her head. The fingers, I probably will notice because they're facing this way. But again, it's not too, too bad for me, so I can tolerate it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Would you guys rate this figure 8 out of 10 or would you rate it any lower? Give me some suggestions on what you think. Or again, if I should really watch the anime and do an anime reaction. Because I really want to watch season 2. And I don't want to be left out because I know the fandom for this. Could be kind of crazy, but I know it has a good side of it like every fandom. So, yeah. I'm really happy with it. Um, I can't wait to get more of Rem and Ram. I hope that we get a lot more of them together. Because I haven't seen too many figures with them actually together like this. So, I'm excited for more. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below of the video. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!